Hey everyone, this is gonna be a really quick video on why I think that most users should use the BTRFS file system as opposed to the ext4 file system. Now I've received this question a lot and the two reasons are relatively straightforward, but I thought it might be a good idea to just get them in a video and just kind of explain my reasoning. So the first is that BTRFS paired with data scrubbing can protect against potential data corruption. So basically after you set up data scrubbing, and I have a video, I'll leave a pop up for that now, but after you set up data scrubbing, it will actually check each copy of the data and it will check to see if the checksum stored matches. Now I'm drastically oversimplifying this, but this is the easiest way that I can think to explain it. So assuming that the data scrubbing process finds a checksum value that's different than what it expected, utilizing RAID, it can actually repair that data. So that's why if you set up the BTRFS file system, in order for data scrubbing to work, you have to be utilizing RAID. Now I don't wanna make data degradation and bit rot sound like it's gonna to happen to everybody and it's destined for everybody's NAS to eventually experience it because that's not necessarily true. But the point is that if you can potentially protect against it, you should, and utilizing BTRFS will allow you to protect against that, whereas utilizing something like ext4 won't. So that's the first reason, and moving on to the second reason, it's gonna be definitely snapshots. So snapshots allow you to freeze files at a point in time. So you can think of a Word document, and if that Word document contains data today and then you go in and you edit it tomorrow, when you take a snapshot of it, you can actually restore to yesterday's version of that file. Now that's a very simple example, but if you think of something like a ransomware attack, where you have a regular file today and tomorrow it's encrypted, if you have snapshots set up, you could actually roll back to yesterday's versions of your files and you'll be back up and running without really doing anything. So the data exists there, and one of the best parts about it is that depending on the actual data itself and if it changes, it won't actually utilize any additional storage space because the data hasn't actually changed. So it's still sitting there, but it's not actually utilizing any additional storage space. So what you really have is that as files change over time, those snapshots will take up more storage space. However, for most files, they're not changing regularly. So you can go back and you can always roll back to that last version and you're not actually gonna be utilizing any additional hard drive space. So I don't wanna make it sound like snapshots don't take up storage space because they certainly do. However, in general, the storage space that they take up is generally relatively small because the data isn't changing particularly often. And if it is changing a lot of times for like Word documents and stuff, stuff that is actually changing on a regular basis, they're not particularly large files, so you're not gonna be storing a ton of storage space. And also with retention settings, you can ensure that after a certain period of time, the snapshots are automatically deleted. Now, by far and away, this is the main reason why I think everybody, if you have a NAS that supports the BTRFS file system, should be using it. There have been a few times where snapshots have saved me. And yes, snapshots are not a replacement for backups, and you should always have your backups, but it's an additional layer of security, and it's really, really easy to just roll back to yesterday's version of the file or go through and just download yesterday's version of the file that you're looking for. So I have a full video on snapshots. I'll leave a pop-up for that now. I also have written tutorials for data scrubbing and snapshots that I'll leave in the description of the video. But I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.